What is up everybody, it's Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell, because I promise I'm trying to work on my upload schedule. But yeah, as you saw from the title and thumbnail of this video, uh, I am 1000% fully vaccinated. Well, I'm fully vaccinated, but the effectiveness is like, what, like 90, 95%. Uh, I got the uh, Pfizer vaccine. But anyways, I wanted to share uh, my experience with getting vaccinated, if you missed it, uh, up in the info card somewhere around here. I talk about the first vaccine, how I got it, how I was eligible and things like that, if you're interested in. But I do think it's important that we share our experience about getting the vaccine so more people get it. Like, we are, we're ending the near, like we're getting close to the end of this, this whole thing, right? And who knows if life will go back to normal, who knows if like, you know, there'll still be times of years where like we wear masks and things like that, but we're getting close to the end of this thing just being so terrible and awful and everything like that. But I, I wanted to make this second video, I was debating on it, uh, because I still see that there are some people who are like hesitant about getting the vaccine. So as I mentioned in the last video, I got the first vaccine uh, and there wasn't really any side effects. Like the next day, like my the muscle where they shot it in there was like a little bit sore, but that was it. That's normal when you get any kind of shot or vaccine or whatever, you know? Uh, and I got it in my left arm. It's funny because my girlfriend, she <laughs> she's left-handed too. She's like, why are you left? And like, I was just so excited to get the vaccine when I sat down and they're like, which arm? I'm like, I don't care. And I just happen to be facing this way. I'm just like, just just shove it in my arm. Just give me the vaccine. So yeah, it was about, uh, I don't know, like two and a half weeks later. So I actually got my second dose of the vaccine a couple weeks ago. And I, I cannot tell you how much relief there is, right? Like just so much because I don't know about the rest of you, but I have an anxiety disorder and you know, with this whole virus, like I've been super paranoid and I'm the one in our household who goes shopping and everything like that. Um, I'm very fortunate that everybody in my house is like pretty introverted and we've been good at staying inside. But even when I go grocery shopping, I'm like, you know, like trying to keep people away from me and I'm very like paranoid and things like that. And now that I'm vaccinated, it's just such this sigh of relief. And you know, of course I still wear my mask, all right? Uh, I was thinking like, it'd be kind of funny to get a mask that said like, I'm vaccinated on it. So people might feel a little bit more comfortable around me, you know what I mean? But uh, but yeah, I still wear my mask. I still social distance. I still do all that kind of stuff because it's important that we, we still do the best practices until, you know, uh, we're, we're more, more towards, you know, herd immunity and all that stuff, but let me tell you, let me tell you about a fun story, okay? Sit back, get comfortable. I gotta tell you the story about when I got my second vaccine, okay? So, where I got vaccinated was uh, at UNLV. Uh, so I live here in Las Vegas, UNLV is like the, the college here. And uh, I went there for my second dose of the vaccine. And for some reason, my girlfriend and I, even though we went on the same day for the first one, our second dose was a day apart. So I went there by myself. And I go there and I get there and I, I, it's like eight in the morning and I get in line, everybody's in line, like all masked up and everything like that. And there is this old dude, okay? There is this older dude. And I, I'm, not, I'm not being ageist, okay? I just wanna make it clear that this story's crazy because he is in the highest of high risks. Okay, like he looks like he could have been in World War II, maybe World War I, maybe the Civil War, I don't know. But that's just to give you a frame of reference for how old he is. And this fool had no mask on, no mask on. And he's walking, I'm standing in line, and he walks this way, right? And I see no mask, I got my mask on, and I'm there for my second vaccine, right? So I'm like a little bit protected, but not totally protected. And this dude gets right behind me. And he's standing there with no mask, and I'm trying to keep my distance, and like, he's like inching up, and it's really weird. But then, then, worst of all, worst of all, he starts like coughing, and like, he has like a runny nose, and he's using this little like, Kleenex that he's reusing, and I'm like, I'm like, if, if there was some ethical way to do a social experiment right now, I would swear that I'm in like, what would you do, right? And I had my friends ask me, they're like, why didn't you say something or whatever? And I'm just like, 
because I'm not about to be like one of those people, one of those viral like TikTok videos, like telling this old dude not to wear a mask. You know what I mean? Or not, not, not to stand next to me and he should be wearing a mask and all that. So anyways, but I'm also I'm at a vaccination site. So I'm assuming that the nurses or the people working there, they're going to tell him to mask up. So the first checkpoint you get to, they scan your head. So he's right behind me, they scan me, you know, I'm good. I got the normal, you know, degrees and all that. But then they scan him, they don't say squat to him. Then there's like two or three more checkpoints and nobody, nobody says anything to him. So what I personally did was when I had to like fill out my little paperwork, I waited, I took my time. So me and this guy would <laughs> have some distance, but it was, it was insane. I, it was such a crazy experience how everybody was wearing a mask except this guy at a place where we're getting vaccinated. And he was like there with his wife. So I almost imagine he was like, yeah, fine, I'll, I'll go with you, but I'm not wearing no freaking mask, you know, or something like that. But anyways, after they, they shoved that needle in my arm for the second time, I've just, I've, I felt very good. I felt comfortable. And actually with the second dose, like my girlfriend and I, Heard about some people having more of a reaction to like the second dose than the first one. I didn't even have soreness after the second one, nothing. And uh, I don't know about you and where you're getting vaccinated, but, but afterwards they give you like a little QR code where you can check in and register where the CDC follows up with you. And please, if you haven't been vaccinated yet or you're about to get your second dose, like please do that follow up. Like I can't explain to you like, I read so many books and I love reading books on like data and statistics and everything like that. And the number one thing that you need for accurate studies or data or statistics is a the biggest sample size possible, all right? Because there's so many different variables and so many different ways to look at the data. So when we all follow up and we talk about, and it takes literally two seconds on your cell phone, you get a text message. It's like, hey, here's your daily check-in. You check in, it's like, do you have a fever? Do you have this, da, 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 boom. So like, please do that so they can gather data. So if if there is anything wrong or, or even better, like it helps the studies show like, hey, this many, only this many people have had a reaction. So it's virtually, you know, unrealistic for you to be worried about you know having a reaction with one out of every you know i'm just making up a number here one out of every x amount of million people you know so please do that follow-up if you can but anyways i'm also very fortunate because not only did myself and my lovely girlfriend get vaccinated but in california since my mom works in healthcare she got her second dose of the vaccine about a year before not a year before, about a week before us and uh and yeah, we, uh, my girlfriend and I, I took a few days off from work and we drove down to California. I haven't seen my mom in over a year and she's the woman, you know, who helped me get sober. Uh, she's the woman who birthed the amazing man you see in front of you today. Like, and I hadn't seen her in, you know, a year since this pandemic. So it was so nice just driving out to uh, California and getting to spend a few days with her, you know? And it, it really like, not only made me grateful, but just it, it, it was like seeing this light at the end of the tunnel, right? Like we've all been stuck in this and it's like, wow, this is actually happening. Like we're, we're starting to get towards the end of this. But the reason I'm making this video and, and even if you don't have a YouTube channel, like, like that's cool, like post about it, share about it. Like if you get vaccinated, share about it. Like I love social psychology and things like that. And one of the best things you can do is share and just say, hey, I was vaccinated right? Like post it on Facebook. Like we post about every other dumb thing. You post pictures of, you know, your food and all these other things. Like post that you got vaccinated because it encourages other people, people in your social circles, no matter where you are in the United States, no matter where you are in the world, you might be in a, in a section of your city or country where people are kind of like averse to like getting vaccinated. But when they see people like you are getting vaccinated, they're like, Oh, someone like me is getting vaccinated. Maybe I'll get vaccinated. So we all need to get vaccinated, all right? But yeah, it's been, I don't know, two weeks, about two weeks since I've been fully vaccinated and I feel great. I'm not dying. I haven't grown any extra limbs or anything like that. It's it's really, really cool. I, I love it. I love the, the, the kind of like decreased anxiety and just, you know, freedom of it all, all right? But anyways, if you have questions about it or anything like that, uh, about my experience, uh, feel free to share down in the comments below. Um, 
I know some people are like concerned about getting like the Johnson and Johnson vaccine because it's like not as effective and it's only one shot. Like just, just get it, get the dang thing. All right, <laughs> trust me, like you won't, you won't regret it. All right, but uh, anyways, uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, as for everybody, who is a long-term rewired soldier and you're wondering where I am, make sure you're following me on Twitter and Instagram. Um, I'm constantly on social media interacting. I've had people reach out to me trying to get sober or they have a loved one who needs to get sober or people, you know, have been asking me about therapy and everything like that. Like, I'm still there for all of you guys. I just haven't had the time to really upload lately. I've been uh, extremely, extremely busy at work. I kind of made it a goal to focus more on my writing this year too. Um, and yeah, I've just kind of been in this weird like creative transition where I'm like, you know, I'm trying to figure out what to do with this channel. I wanna talk about mental health and addiction and fixing some stuff. Like I've done some really cool things and you know, I love sharing my experience as like a recovering addict and a recovering person who was extremely depressed, extremely anxious, extremely suicidal, all those things. Right, and I want to share more of my experience around that and the things that I learn and all that stuff. So, so stick around. But I just, I just always want to remind you guys, like I am here. All right, like I get this weird guilt, like I'm like, oh, I'm not on YouTube, you know, all the time and interacting with people. But I am constantly, constantly over on Twitter and Instagram at the Rewired Soul. My DMs are open. If you want to reach out, anything like that, um, or if you just want to stay up to date with what I'm working on, whether it's the new books that I'm writing um, or you know other projects or what I'm doing with the YouTube channel or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so just to give you a little preview of that. Sorry to ramble, if you're still here, thank you. But I'm currently working on a new book um, about uh, cognitive psychology and better decision-making and all that. But what I'm also trying to do is do updated second editions of the books I've already written, like Rewire Your Anxiety, Rewire Your Anger, um, my book Hope, which is my personal story of overcoming addiction, anxiety, and depression, and all that kind of stuff. So I wanna release second editions of those while I work on new book and all that kind of stuff. So social media is a great way to keep up with that. I still publish a weekly reading list, like we're like 60 something days into the year. I've already read like over 65 books, girl. <laughs> so if you like to read, make sure you follow me. All right, I am going to shut up, go get vaccinated, all right? Everybody on the planet will thank you, I promise, okay? But that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel, everybody who follows me on social media, interacts, all that kind of stuff. All of you, everybody out there, you're all amazing. I'll see you next time.